Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. We're looking at Psalm 81. And have you ever wondered what God thinks about our rebellion? What he would say to us regarding our disobedience and sinful habits that just kind of plague our lives? I think it would sound a lot like us being exasperated with our children. I mean, have you ever been to that point where you just finally say to your kids, hey, listen to me, I'm trying to save you trouble, I'm trying to save you heartache, I'm trying to, trying to save you pain, and they just go on doing what uh, they're doing anyway and ignoring you, and how frustrating that is to watch them invite pain into their lives. Uh, Psalm 81 kind of describes that as God speaks to us. Listen as, as we pick up in verse 8 of Psalm 81. Hear, O my people, while I admonish you, O Israel, if you would but listen to me, there shall be no strange God among you. You shall not bow down to a foreign God. I am the Lord your God who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide and I will fill it. But my people did not listen to my voice. Israel would not submit to me. So I gave them over to their stubborn hearts to follow their own counsels. Oh, that my people would listen to me that Israel would walk in my ways. Do you just hear the frustration in God's voice? Do you just sense that deep longing that he wants to bless us? Because God desires his people to listen to him, which by the way is the word of God. You want to know what God says, what God thinks? Read this book. And, and he says, I want my people to walk in my ways, which means that you need to apply what you read to your life. And when we do this, then God promises to provide for us. He says, look, I'll fill your mouths. I mean, it's always about the food in the Old Testament, much of the New Testament. It's always about people not having enough to eat, which is why Jesus taught them to pray, give us today our daily bread. And so it was all about hunger and having enough. He says, look, God will fill your mouths and God will fight for you if you will but listen to him. But what happens if we continue in our rebellion? Well, God told us that. Again, verse 11, he says, But my people did not listen to my voice. Israel would not submit to me. So I gave them over to their stubborn hearts to follow their own counsels. By the way, that didn't lead to a good place for Israel. I mean, they ended up you know, being wiped off the map pretty much. Conquered, suffering, uh, just pain. So it didn't lead to a good place for Israel and it won't lead to a good place for you. I mean, we're going to reap what we sow. And if we sow to the flesh, from the flesh, we're going to reap destruction. If we sow to the Spirit, from the Spirit, we'll reap life. I mean, that's kind of our choice. So here's the thing. You know how to bless your kids. And, and there's so many times in life you've wanted them just to listen to you. It'll hurt less. It'll bless you if you just listen to me. You know what I'm talking about. You could probably sit and talk for an hour about moments when... You knew better than they did, but they didn't listen to you. Well, God knows how to bless his kids if we would just listen to his word. That's what it boils down to. Because if you read and apply God's word, God will change your life and it will be for the better. So trust him. It will bless you. Have a great day, Calvary.